In this lesson, we will be discussing checking interferences. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0605 checking interference.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the working with this dataset video. You use the interfere command to determine if two or more solids occupy the same space. This is very useful for locating interferences when you do not want solid models to overlap. It can also help you ensure you have the proper amount of overlap for those conditions when you do want them to interfere, like mechanical assembly press fits and so on. The interfere command is located in the solid tab, solid editing panel, and then we have the interfere command. When you run the command, you are prompted for two settings. You can do a nested selection. This is actually useful for when you need to select a model that is within a block definition. And then you have the settings option. So if I go ahead and click settings by typing S and then enter, I can change the way the interference command will look as you go through the different interferences that you may have in your 3D solids. You can change the visual style for the interference object, what color the object should be, do you want it to highlight the interfering pair or the interference, and how do you want the viewport to display as well. Notice how we have this opposite of each other. That way we can really see the interference because the interference will be a realistic style whereas the viewport will be a wireframe visual style. So the first thing you can do is you can select a first and second set of objects, or you can select all your objects at once. Let's make two selection sets. I'll go ahead and select my pipes first in this design, and we'll see how we have for interference. And then I'll press enter, and then I'll select the steel trusses as my second selection set. and press enter. You are then prompted in the interference checking dialog box to see where the interferences are. You can click next to toggle between the possible interferences. You can also select any of the viewing operations like 3D orbit if you wanted to orbit around, and you can also zoom in and out. So notice what it's doing here. So because I made my first selection set as all the pipes, and then my second selection set as all the steel trusses, it actually is not comparing the selection sets within each other. It's only comparing the actual selection sets. So if I have interferences within all the pipes here, it's not checking them right now. So as you can see, we do happen to have a clearance interference right here, here, and there, but we still have no idea if any of the other pipes interfere as well. So I'll go ahead and press enter. I could just close this, and what would happen is it would delete the interference objects created on close because this is toggled on. Where this is really cool is you can actually toggle this off and the 3D solids where the interferences are will actually be in the drawing when you click close. You can then use those solid objects to fix your interferences if you need to or actually use them to subtract them from areas if let's say you needed to do that. I'll click close and the interferences are gone. Let's go ahead and run the command again, but this time let's go ahead and make a selection set of everything and then press enter and then press enter again for check. Notice how you can do the nested selection again, or just check first set. I'll just press check first set. And notice that now what it does is it actually is checking absolutely everything. So we actually have some interferences between our pipes as well. So I'll go ahead and zoom in here. And as you can see, we still have those other interferences. I also have two pipes interfering here as well. So I'll press escape. Since I don't want these solids to be created, I will leave them to be deleted on close. And then now I'll go ahead and zoom in and see what the actual problem is. So as we can see, this pipe needs to be moved over. So I'll go ahead and move this pipe out of the way. So we'll move this distance over by three, locking in polar tracking. And I need to move this up by a distance of one. So I'll go ahead and move the pipe straight up. Again, I'm picking anywhere in space to move it straight up by a distance of one. Now let's go ahead and run the interfere command again. And we'll select all our objects, press enter, enter again, and you'll notice that nothing happened because objects do not interfere. So the interference command is a great tool if there are interferences within your 3D solids that you do not want to interfere and you can fix them afterwards. This concludes this video discussing checking interferences.